We just completed the saddest time period in the Jewish calendar. The three weeks, the nine days, culminating in Tisha B'Av itself, a day of mourning, a day of fasting, as we contemplate what it means to live in a world absent a temple in Jerusalem. We now proceed from the nine days into a Shabbos that has a special name, Shabbos Nachamu, named after the first words of the Haftorah this week, Shabbos Nachamu, the Shabbos of comfort. And many of the ideas that are shared on Shabbos Nachamu are one of hope, one of optimism. And I would like to share one with you that's not only of hope and optimism, but something that's actionable as well. The great rabbi, the Vilna Gon, in his commentary to Pirkei Avos, comments on the famous Mishnah, Al Shlosha Dvarim HaOlam made that the world stands on three pillars. Al Torah, on the study of Torah. Al Ha'avoda, which we'll translate in a moment. The Al Gamilus Chasadim, and on acts of kindness. And the Vilna Gon comments that while we typically assume that Avoda means the service of God, the prayer service coming to Shul, the Vilna Gon says that really, in a formal sense, Avoda doesn't refer to prayer. Avoda is the service that took place in the temple. We no longer have a temple. We no longer have those services. We replace them with our prayer services, but there's something that's still lacking. And says the Vilna Gon, Al Shlota Dvarim HaOlam made these three pillars are holding up the world. When one of the pillars is weakened, we need to strengthen the other two. When the pillar of Avoda, of the service in the temple, is replaced and is not as strong, we now need to strengthen the pillars, the other two pillars, so they're able to hold up the weight, to strengthen the study of Torah and to strengthen our acts of kindness. I'd like to highlight an opportunity we have in our community to strengthen our acts of kindness. The Jewish Federation and Jewish Family Services have a wonderful initiative that they're beginning where they're bringing a Jewish refugee family from Ukraine to our community here in Charleston. You can see the link either down below in the YouTube description or if you're reading the email uh, earlier in this email, but there's a link for us to be able to support this family as they make their transition to Charleston. As we leave a time in thinking about what it means to be a nation in exile, here's a wonderful opportunity for us to help a family in exile as they join our community. May the Jewish people not have to suffer these types of hardships. And as always, I wish you all a wonderful Shabbos.